Nexus has been updated with some incredibly powerful new tools. NX Question enables the triggering of effects from particle and scene data. Use it to write your own scripts to drive particle effects. Even use AI-generated code. There's also a new data mapping system that gives intuitive, artistic control over your sims. Let's start with NX Question then, and although this can get incredibly complex, it can also be used simply and intuitively, even by beginner artists. Let's set up a simple example. We'll bring in a question, and we're going to set this as a particle age question at 30 frames. We'll then make an action as a child and have it set the radius to 10 centimeters. When the particles are one second old, they have their radius set, yes. Now let's change that data type from age to distance traveled, let's say 150 centimeters. And now that radius is set once the particles have traveled that far. We can reduce the weight of actions so we get more of a blend. We can even add some delay. Infinitely layer up questions and actions in an intuitive logic-based workflow, making even complex scenes easy to build and manage. Use fields with NX question to trigger actions. There is also the amazing loop layer. Let's set this one to a time cycle loop. We'll activate position and velocity, and now we're able to get our particles to return to their original position. Use the fast calculating particle neighbor search to drive these recursive spawning effects. Let's take that effect and now use an object volume question to restrict the growth to within these letters. You can use the NX question script layer to create your own GLSL Vulcan based scripts for bespoke particle effects. Generate code using ChatGPT. Simply paste in these pre-prompt instructions to teach it how to work with X particles, and then let's ask it a question. Please write a script that changes the particle color over time using RGB. Also change the particle radius over time from three to 40. And here's the code. When it's finished, we'll copy it. Let's go into cinema and we have this particle simulation. Let's go to the NX question object at the top, which is empty. We'll add a script layer. Let's delete the default code that's in there and we'll paste in our chat GPT code. Let's hit play. And now, yes, our particles are scaling up and changing color over time. This custom script has been written to create this particle simulation of them flying in groups. It references four variable layers. These are all set to user data mode. This means we can make a custom user interface in the user data to control the settings of the simulation. We've effectively made a custom Nexus modifier. And we've barely scratched the surface of the amazing new NX question with an intuitive, logic-based workflow for setting up complex particle sims. Using questions, actions, variables, loops, and scripts, the possibilities are almost unlimited. From simple particle sims to creating your own custom GPU-powered modifiers. This is the all-new NX Question. Now let's move on to the amazing new Nexus data mapping system. Every single modifier and dynamic modifier can now be data mapped. So in this scene, we have a fluid setup and we have an NX gravity pulling these particles down. Let's say that we want the darker blue particles to be less affected by the gravity than the white. Well, we can do that with mapping. We'll go to the new mapping tab and we need to add a layer. Now we want to map the strength of the gravity, not to the particle age, but to the particle color. So we'll bring in a color map. We'll make sure the parameter is set to gravity strength. And now we can adjust this curve to make sure that only the lighter colors are getting that full gravitational strength. And yes, look, the dark blue ones aren't being pulled down as strongly as the white. 
You can layer up multiple data maps for effects. Here we have an NX wind modifier and we have a particle color map. So the wind strength has been mapped to the color brightness. But let's say that we want this turbulent gusting only to occur once they've traveled a certain distance. Well, we can do that with another map. Let's bring in a new layer, this time a distance map. And we're going to map this not to the wind strength, but to the turbulence. And we're going to say after 150 centimeters, our particles should get the full strength of that turbulence. So let's have a look. No turbulence as they're first blown away. And as they then travel further, that turbulence strength increases. Let's have a look at mapping the parameters from dynamic modifiers here in NX fluids in SBH mode. So we'll go to the mapping tab. We'll add this time a particle age map. We're going to set the category to SBH, the parameter. Let's map the viscosity and we'll say at 0.5 seconds, they'll have zero viscosity. 0.6, it'll ramp up to full viscosity. And now you'll see the difference in that sim. Yes, the viscosity ramps up. Let's emphasize this with another layer. We'll duplicate this map. And in the second, we'll change it from viscosity to surface tension, leave it the same. And now we have no surface tension or viscosity, and then it ramps up to dynamically alter our fluid sim. The amazing new control tools in Nexus. A brand new data mapping system to map any modifier parameter to particle data. An NX question offering almost limitless possibilities in the generation and manipulation of custom bespoke particle sims. This is the all new Nexus, coming soon to Insidium Fused.